Okay, this lesson for the Cornet Project class, we continue to extend our lesson that began concerning the text Acts 2.38. We referenced in our last lesson John 14.16, and now I'd like to reference the Great Commission, the third part, Matthew 28.20. We'll go ahead and start with that, and then we'll iterate John 14.16. So Matthew 28.20. 20, he was speaking to them about their responsibility to be teaching das Contes. This is a present active participle, teaching them, speaking of all the nations, teaching them, autos, autos, teaching them, Teaching them to be observing Tehrein. Tehrein. That's from Tehreo. Tehrein. To be observing. Now this can be quite a, a rub for some. A little friction. The iron sharpening iron. The learning. The disciple making. The being conformed. Uh, the growing up to the full measure. Unless someone... Uh, literally relinquishes themselves to being a disciple in an ecclesia, a follower in an ecclesia, and be trained and be there with the intended purpose to covenant together, commit together, to live deliberately under the headship of Christ and according to his teachings in relationship to each other. Uh, this is will be quite a foreign concept. Be observing all things, all things, Jesus said. He said, all things whatsoever, whatsoever things, and he said, I commanded to you all, and this is the, this is the verb, it's a deponent verb, middle passive form, active, here it's aorist, in tell, tell, Amen. Sorry. Have to work it out. Walk, uh, talk it through. That's the ending first person singular. Uh, we get the noun intele. So I commanded Heman to you all. To you all. And he said somewhat of a break here, but he said and idu Aorist imperative, notice, notice. So it gives us something to notice here. We'll take attention to it here. I myself, ego, I myself. And then here's a, a familiar phrase to us. We saw in John 14, 16, he moaned. I myself and then Amy. So we have ego, Amy, I myself am am with so in association with you all notice it's always plural here you all and then it says all way in english and that is um pasa um tas hey meras all the days, <clears throat> all the days, long way of writing all way, isn't it? Eos, until, until, and then we have this scene, teleos, scene teleos, until, oh, it's um, taste, until the, Consummation, I left the article out. Consummation, until the consummation to Ionos of the age. Then he said, Amen. And it's translated, Amen. <clears throat> so you recall in John 14, 16, I'll move along so the time doesn't. Betray me. And Jesus had said, 
indeed, Kai, indeed, I, myself, indeed, I, myself. Then he said, we'll ask, ero, teso, you remember that's future, I, myself, will ask, will ask, Ton the father, Patera, Patera the father, Kai, and Alan, another, and this is of the same kind, as the same kind of comforter they had with Jesus there, another para clay ton. I have to break it apart. Notice the preposition there alongside, a called alongside another comforter. Another comforter. Kai. And I will ask the Father and dose, he will dose. You remember that word doreon was in Acts 2.38, speaking of the gift. He will give Okay, so indeed I myself will ask the Father Oh, and he will give, I didn't need this guy, and he will give, I will ask the Father, and he will give another comforter to you all. Sometimes I have to really think about the ones I did a day or two ago, or even yesterday. And here was the purpose, Hina, in order that, And then we had a mene, present, active, subjunctive. He might be abiding. Then we had this again, this here that we noticed. Meth in association with Hemon, you all. You all, and that was... Ace into Ton Iona into the age. Now, of course, uh, times are quite different. Uh, well, in, in the community where I pastor, uh, just the idea of a church being a called out body, baptized believers, those who've severed their ties from that from which the blood of Christ had redeemed them, uh, they'd come out and, uh, let's say, denounced. Uh, modified messages, works for salvation, different gospels that were not other gospels. But to find people that actually severed their ties and had come there together for the purpose of abiding under the headship of Christ uh, with the um, realization of the comforter they're leading, as um, I can most assuredly tell you, the uh, there's a lot of uh, things out there that aren't what we would say is the result of following the leadership of the Holy Spirit, that is the comforter in that office, that title that Jesus spoke and referenced. Uh, So the idea of being in an ecclesia, a called out body uh, for the purpose of being discipled, to be taught, to be observing, that's, that's on the person. For example, I can't make someone make a disciple, nor do we try to make someone be disciple. We provoke each other into love and into good works. We exhort, encourage, but we persuade. Uh, There are several out there you could find who would persuade you unashamedly uh, to believe uh, faith alone in Christ only, for example, and unmistakably, uh, I mean, without any hesitation, tell you that that's When you believe Jesus Christ for everlasting life, you already have an everlasting life. It's irreversible, irrevocable. But then the next step of following and having, making disciples, teaching people to be observing, that's, that's still there even with a person who's believed 
uh, has been born from above, has everlasting life. There's still that flesh. Again, we saw in Galatians, the entire southern region of Galatia, the Gentile churches had went and followed another persuasion, which Paul said was not from God. So in that sense, they, those churches, even with the advantage of the Holy Spirit, the comforter there for them, as Jesus said, he wouldn't abandon them, leave them. And Jesus conducts in his churches, which is his prerogative and discretion. With all that, they followed another persuasion. <clears throat> but I had this article uh, about the Great Commission, and I'll include this article, the link to it. It's by William Beckard, and it's from a Baptist uh, education website. And he was speaking of the 11 disciples to whom this command was given. Uh, and he lists here and he said, the question is, did Jesus give this commission to the church corporate or to disciples as individuals? That is, uh, we go out and witness uh, to anyone and everyone. And yet it's in the ecclesia where we're taught to be observing, not just the information, but to then to practice it reciprocally for example we have uh, fathers of children husbands to their wives brothers in a covenant for example come together well we're there to build each other up we're there to bear each other's burdens we're there to do as jesus said love one another so we deliberately place ourselves in that position of being the other to another and we come together in our formed into that body a body of christ um, a house of god an ecclesia of a living God, as Paul told Timothy, in which it's very necessary for us to behave ourselves a certain man in a certain manner. Well, that's mentioned here also. And then, of course, we know individuals, Jesus at no time, even on the day of Pentecost, that was um, those people who were there uh, told to wait until the promise. Now, these people had already believed. They had heard John the Baptist say mind in association with the correct message concerning the kingdom. They had done that. They had come out and were baptized. And now John told them, I baptize you uh, in water, but there's one who comes after me that will baptize you in Holy Spirit and in fire. Uh, so we see that. Well, he mentioned here uh, about the church as a body of Christ. Uh, also, he says to quote First Timothy 3.15, But if I tarry long, thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, and which is the church. That's the word ecclesia, the living God, the pillar and the ground, the truth. And of course, not, not any individual. I've never met an individual believer of any stripe <laughs> that thinks of themselves as anything that ever affirmed themselves to be the Father's house in which a particular behavior is necessary. So this is uh, fascinating. But notice what's uh, great about the Great Commission is that he said, I myself am with you all. Notice that. Now, that's very comforting, as it should be, uh, especially since we're talking about the comforter who would come and were comforted by the scriptures, which are inspired by the Holy Spirit. So again, uh, he might be abiding continuously in association with you all. So this is good. It helps us as we continue the conversation uh, from the Gospels all the way to the book of Acts. And we'll look at that. We'll even look at church letters. But the idea uh, today that we would have been abandoned, that there would be no ecclesia, a flock for a sheep, a shepherd for the flock, and that we would be abandoned and what Jesus promised had never taken place. It certainly would warrant our attention if you're really interested in finding out uh, who's who's being led by the Holy Spirit and more rather who is following that leadership what well, certainly wouldn't be indicative of appropriating works uh, post-salvation works for example as the Galatians did and then by doing that now observing Jesus commandments has nothing to do with uh, our standing before God as far as modifying the message to a gospel of the grace of God to now include works, which is really striking how uh, easily that can be twisted. And then, of course, this is all comforting. It's just Jesus uh, conducting in the churches uh, in Revelation 2, 1 is a very, it uh, should be, a, well, it is of great interest to believers. Uh, those of us who were persuaded by the Son to believe Him for everlasting life are also persuaded, being persuaded, 
we're not always behaving as to the same degree that he's persuading us, uh, but we hold great interest in Christ and uh, the ecclesia and under his headship. So that's what this is about. And I'll move and let you see the board. I moved earlier, but didn't look at the board myself. I freehanded it so you can find any errors and correct it. And that's what I'll do when we're done. So have a blessed day. Enjoy this lesson.